Oh, I am now actually running on Twitch. Let me just refresh. Right, I was going to start playing. Oh, I haven't even done anything yet. No, fine. Yes, I haven't. <laughs> Literally, I just I'm paused. So this is going to be a weird way to start the stream. But hey, guys, I'm actually finally got back around to playing Grand Theft Auto Five, and obviously it's been about a month since I last played. So I'm just trying to remember what I was doing. Uh, obviously, I just want to make sure that it's working. Okay, well, I think it's working properly. Seems like it is. So let me check my map. So obviously, there's a there's a Michael's blue, right? Yeah, Michael's blue, and Franklin's green, and obviously, um, uh, Trevor. Trevor is orange. For some reason, I was having a hard time remembering that. Oh yeah, that's right. I was doing these missions, weren't I? Yeah, let's do this one quickly as um, as uh, Franklin. So let's take. Well, first off, I've got to try and remember what the controls were. So those are guns. It's obviously weapons. Or well, in this case, punching. Uh, this is what happens when you don't play for about a month. You sort of forget some controls. Not too badly. See, I, I realise um, the audio, the oh, the uh, music from the radio stations don't play when you stream directly off PlayStation 4 for Grand Theft Auto 5, so I should be fine anyway. But just to be on the safe side, I always turn the radio off anyway. Uh, where am I going? I should be following the path. God, it's been a while. I was never a great driver in these games in the first place. Obviously in real life, I don't have a driver's license, so... You know... I, don't, I can't go by reference. <laughs> Not that you drive a car in real life the same way I'm driving in this. But, you know... Oh yeah, I saw. Hey, you get over here! Can you give me a ride past him, please? I'm hardly wearing any makeup. Come on, quick, get in. I screwed up this hey, last time because oh, I ended up. Shit, here they come! Go, go, go! Lose them! Hey, over here! Lazy oh, over here! Come on, I say. Damn it! Oh, this is a disaster! I'm so fucking fat! Oh my god, they cannot get a shot of me! How's my hair? Do I look cute? Shit! Yeah, that's your concern right now? Oh god, I haven't done this in a while. Now. Been a while. This is probably not the best thing to do with. That's crazy, man. What the hell you do? I'm really famous. I didn't do anything. This is my. The thing, I, it's been about a month. So just trying to remember. Commute. So who the fuck are you anyway? Who? Who am I? Ugh. Hello. Take another look. Man, I'm trying. 
Come on, are you serious? I'm Lacey Jonas. How out of touch are you? Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God. Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day! So what am I, your driver now? Oh, pretty please, I can't walk home! Most men would kill for this opportunity. Oh, nah, shit, it's cool, don't trip. But them motherfuckers back there was ready to tear the meat off your ass, if you had any back there, that is. Oh, please, I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I mostly just suck on them and spit them into a bucket, but uh, still, that... probably like a hundred calories. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich. Lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm like totally gonna suck all my personal trainers. What I give to have a normal life for one day. For real? No way. Are you kidding me? Doing laundry and shampooing my own hair? Ugh, horrendous. No, thank you. I mean, do you have any idea how much money I spent on losing my regional accent? I had to cut all ties with my family. Not because I didn't love them, but because... The thought of their lame lives was breaking me down spiritually. You know what I mean? You would really not believe how difficult it is being a celebrity sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you had it real tough. I think the problem is sometimes they love me too much. My publicist told me if you put all my fans together, they'd fill the country of Africa, wherever that is. I had this obsessed fan last year who kept sending me photos of his junk. Then when I didn't reply, he sent me his actual junk in a box, all dried up. It looked like a spring roll. This is me. Thanks for saving me from those awful paps. You're such a sweetie. Right, let's get you some weed then, apparently. One second. There we go. This isn't oh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention for a second there, so I just need to turn that back down. Hopefully, <laughs> odds enough won't give me trouble. Because <laughs> obviously, I had my phone on to check the stream, and I forgot I had the sound up. I had to sound up for a uh, few minutes because obviously I was just checking to make sure the microphone wasn't screwing up again. For some reason, every now and then there's a mm, noise Come on, on some of the streams since I've got this microphone. Well, I'm not sure what the cause is because it doesn't always happen. It didn't happen in my last episode of um, my last stream of Rise of the Tomb Raider. But obviously it did happen in the previous stream. And it did did happen in my stream with Nina Guri 2 earlier. So hey, you got off luck, Mom. It's hard to tell what's causing it or not. It's annoying because I just got this microphone on. Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So, you know, hopefully it's not, not already broken. Somewhere. 
I guess that car there. the truck you wanted. Oh, good, good. Uh, now hurry. I need it in Vespucci in the next couple of hours. And, and watch yourself. I hear the cops have been snooping around over there. Come on. Thank you. Again, I realized the audio from Radius, don't play. Shit, motherfuckers had eyes on the play. Go, 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 shit. Come on, come on. How fucking slow is this thing? There's gotta be a better way to get weed legalized than this bullshit. Oh, I just realized I'm on a timer now. Damn, I gotta get the fuck on. Oh 
sure I'm gonna make it now. I didn't realize I was on. I didn't realize I was on a timer. to retry from. Right. First things first. Oh yeah, I am on time. Crap. Right, I don't really want to get lost. Motherfuckers had eyes on the plate. Slow as this thing. Oh, cool. Right, let's try this again. I would fit through that. Apparently not. Is that my pizza? Hell no, nah, fool, it's me. I'm here. Oh, well done. Hey, a true crusader for civil liberties. <laughs> uh, 
Where you follow? Follow? Man, that's an understatement. But look, don't trip out. We good. Now look, man, won't you come down and check this? I got shit to do, man. Yeah, well, I'll send someone when I know it's clear, okay? Can't be too careful, and I'm dealing with some composting issues. <laughs> this is a bad burrito. Shit, whatever, man. But that's more information than I need. Sure, the unwanted outcome would have been. Let's have a look what we got to do. Let's see if I can make some more money. Although. Six twenty. I think this is twenty-eight. So I can make some money on this next assassination job. Not sure who it's for. Uh, so obviously with these assassination jobs, you uh, you make money by buying stocks, obviously on the opposite company. So where am I going then? Literally about to head to my assassination mission. Oh, you got a cab. Signal Street. Hey, you work at the dock? No. There's some freaks who hang out down there. I need to talk to them about my niece. She hasn't been home in three days. Have you heard of the Lost? They're a biker gang. 
Oh yeah, the punks is like weeds, man. Can't seem to get rid of them. You should watch yourself, man. They nasty. They're cowards. You stand up to them. You look them in the eye. You see who they really are. Bunch of scared kids. Never had any friends at school living out some homoerotic fantasy. A few tattoos, a leather jacket, and a bandana don't make you tough. I've worked construction my whole life. Guys who don't need to act tough because they are. Not dressing up like some girly glam rock reject. And even the few that did, it was on the weekends on their own time. Now, nah, young thugs these days, they're all mouth and nothing to back it up. They don't scare me. You gotta get yourself killed. I just wanna find out where Kelly is. Ever since my sister's loser husband ran out on her, I've been like a father to her. And I know I'm strict. You have to be these days. The world we live in, see, you're a decent kid, working an honest job for an honest dollar. That's all I want for her. Man, believe me, even this job don't make me an honest dollar half the time. I bought a cab company with a client list of lunatics. I wish she never met those damn bikers. She's always been easily led astray. One of those innocent types. And that's why it pisses me off when these deadbeats try to take advantage of her. She disappears with them for days at a time, but I know she's a good girl. No drugs, no sex before marriage. I raised her right. All right, man. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. The drugs off the marriage, then? Okay, uh, we're nearly there. Here. Take this gun. Hey, what? And you said you just wanted to talk to them. Worst case scenario, something goes wrong. I thought you'd be okay with it. Why? Because I'm a young black man from Chamberlain Hill? Is this why you asked for me? You're not okay with it? Yeah, I'm cool with it. That's not the point. It's <laughs> just a precaution. Okay, I'm gonna go have a word with these guys. Just wait here. Just be cool, all right? This don't feel right. What's going on? Don't worry about them. Worry about the bad math of me and two hookers equaling no action. No, he looks really pissed. I wanna see this. Not this guy again. Hey! Where's my niece, you punks? Where's Kelly? I know you got her. I told you. Don't worry about Kelly. She loves us. Some nights, she loves us all at the same time. <laughs> Fuck you! Who you think I'm scared of you? You think you're gangsters? Tell me where she is or I'll shoot! Oh shit. Now out of respect for your whore of a niece, I'm gonna give you three seconds to get the fuck out of here. Whoa. Appreciate it. Oh, is he dead? I keep pushing the wrong box. I keep thinking that's the map button. Obviously, if it can be repeated, I'm sure it will be. I can do it right that way.
Whoa. Listen to me. Listen to me. Who the fuck are Why you? don't you people listen to me? What's wrong with you people? I am bringing you a message that is important to me, and you ignore me? Shame on you! When you sit at home on your comfortable couch with your family, eating, all happy, all content, remember... Is there a point to this, or...? This ain't real. Suffering is real. Punishment is real. And that, I promise you. Is that it? Oh. <laughs> oh, <fuck me> <laughs> he didn't even get in through the doors, he just was in the car. Now what? No, come on, man! I just got that bike. That asshole took off my bike. Man, sorry about that. Oh shit! Screw this. This shit ain't worth it. Jesus! Oh Jesus! Ah, he probably got away. I'm sure. Things kicked in. Did you come all day? Whoa, you watch out. Did I just hit a naked guy? He's certainly shirtless. Dave, five I didn't even kill the guy. I mean, I didn't kill that guy, certainly. Close. Oh, man. Oh, my leg. Oh, it's stretched out for a second. So who the fuck don't you like today? 
Guy's called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking he could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got him. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. God, I actually need to be careful. Not my strong suit when it comes to driving in this game. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Hey, look out! We all have seatbelts back here! It's fine. It's fine. Hey, get in, we're running late. Jesus, have you been drinking? This driver is a fucking lunatic! <laughs> uh, yep, that's pretty much how I would be as a bus driver, I'm afraid. Well, you're late, late, late. Gotta be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Bear hike. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! Claim it on the city! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie. Why you bailing? Attention, passengers. Please hold on to your fucking seats! Just get on the bus, man. We saved the seat for you and everything. We're taking a short detour, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the beautiful downtown of Los Santos. What's with the fucking bike? Just business shit, you know how it is.
green light. Good to go. Oh shit, I was going to check the article bar. I was so focused on pushing X, I skipped over it. Oh well. Man, these young cats are crazy. What's going on, my dude? Oh, I keep pushing that button. Let's have a look. There's a Devon Western mission somewhere I thought. Yep, yeah, there it is. You a genetic experiment gone wrong, dawg. <laughs> Just like flipping people off as I run my bike. Hey, you lame, dawg. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, pause. No, not pause. <laughs> this is pause. Pause. Uh, just want to check one thing. Game replay. I don't want to replay. Oh, cool. I actually managed to get gold on that. I wasn't sure. I was just thinking, oh, I wonder what I did. I wonder if I completed that. How much I completed that. Apparently, I got that all. So, yay! Man, you pathetic fool. Dirt bag! Bitch. Ain't good. Listen, cat. I don't want to see with you. You heard? And people say I'm a disgrace to society. Whatever. Lame ass bitch. I'm a skill. Oh yeah, I forgot that actually sort of injures me. Man, you suck. Oh. 
Hey man, you getting 
Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Careful of cars like these.
Careful. Stop switching the direction! So let's just drive around, shall we? I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. You as a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my service. No, no, don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, yeah. Just take any car and go!
I see you. Damn it. I don't know why. I don't know why I would have need to have done for that. Let's have a look at the map quickly. I've actually managed to push the right button. Uh, so it's definitely Michael's. Unless Franklin gets a, gets a call in a second. Don't think I'll be able to make a jump like this, but let's just give it a quick try. Oh, hang on. See if there's a tip to jump like that, let's move that car. Actually, that's quite a nice car, so I'm going to take this one instead. Oh, I was just driving anyway. Just disappeared. Hmm. Let's try that off the grass. No, I don't think I had enough speed. Where's this from Mokin supposed to be happening? Ah oh, no, I can't see it. But let's switch to you. That's how my driving goes. Oh, I'm supposed to drive through a lot higher. Oh, Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. 
Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos a or a drink. theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! <laughs> Ooh, I want this car. Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss.
how you like this space. It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Johnny, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. Not my strong suit, but I'll give it a try. Press on that. I do. Come on. Oh, there's some ladder. There's a ladder. Day trip's over, gentlemen. You're going back to set. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Circle basically. All right, spring hand. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah, okay, sure, man, sure. All right, let's get back to the lot. Just ho hold on. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Just jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Please. Well, of course, I don't remember how to fly, because I did learn. How to? But obviously it's been like a month. Can I just say I was just in this for the promise of strong trucks? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. But I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well.
know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? <laughs> what a wonderful surprise! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliché-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Sure, why I would have had to dump a silent assassin, but certainly perfect touchdown was always going to be a stretch for me. Hey, Mr. Madrazo, how's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look, Franklin, I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. Right, so this is probably about where... Yeah, this is obviously when they're going to get sent across country. Not country, but state, whatever. So, let's switch to... Trevor. Some clothes, yeah. Put something exactly like no, nipples. I didn't realize you were home. The shoes gone. Oh, that'll do, to be honest.
let's drive that instead. Swapping insurance details. Is that what I think it's going to be? Looks like the construction. I think that might be the mission I'm thinking of. Mission, I say. I say mission. It's more of a quick event as much as I think. Let's give it a quick try. That's right, Bob. One more day and I'm a retired man. Corn and potato chips. Corn and potato chips. Get out the car then! What are you doing? Get out the car! Ugh, if you're not going to get out the car, I'm not saving you. I was for a second I'm thinking maybe I'd, maybe Trevor would be like, yeah, you 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 were done for. Now you are. But nah, it's not. There's that, uh, um, Franklin one. You make me want a lobotomy. Car. Oh my god! What the fucking hell? 
Listen, even your parents can't stand you. Brainless fool. Ugh, for fuck's sake. The tough guy act is ridiculous. I've trodden shits with more brains. <laughs> You're a total moron. You are an idiot! You know you don't look tough, sugar tits. Whoa! -ho! Listen, nobody likes you. You asshole! Why, oh why do you exist? that posing not fooling anyone why hasn't someone sensible shot you yet this it's a thing you said you wanted work this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see yes hi <laughs> oh. hello we're looking for mr. madrazzo Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. right this way gentlemen <laughs> Patricia Get us something to drink, would you? Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, for some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in Michael. Uh. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. And he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! All right, you grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. Oh, I'm Michael. At least he drives off the car I drove in with, so... Observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there. To that guy's house? Understood. 
Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? smashed up I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. If I could see it, I would. Oh, there it is. There it is. Out past downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate. That didn't do it. Not good enough. Shit. That'll go down next time. I'm trying, it's just not very easy. Ah, shit. Give me a second. I can hear it because I didn't hear it. I got her southwest of the city. <sighs> Gotta take another shot. That didn't do it. <sighs> Not good enough. down next time. I'm just gonna keep hitting it until it does it. Ah, shit. Give me a second. Nope. Stop. Ah, gotta take another shot. Oh, God, I hate this. That didn't do it. Trolls are... The controls on this gun are awful. Not that I'm great at this kind of thing anyway, but... There it is. Not good enough. That'll go 
down next time. Ah, shit. I missed all these shots. Give me a second. Where am I supposed to be shooting? Nope. Quite a few tries, I think. Because I cannot hit. That'll go down next time. I almost want to hit that skip button. I got her. South. Got it. Oh, okay. Got it.
just fine. I got the files. I'll take them to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Well, I'll take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk. Oh no, there we go. There we go. Change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ah! I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Bullshit.
that didn't work. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, crap. has happened why did he have his car man that piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Tell don't him. answer a fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work then he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry oh did boy you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while. Well, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know a nice little oh, place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. Ah. Uh. Cool. Good, chop. Good, chop. Yo, get in, chop. I 
let's take you home. Come on. Where's the <sighs> where is it? Uh the bedroom. I want to change the outfit. I hate that outfit. <laughs> This is the problem. I haven't played this in a month. Months, obviously, I haven't been in here in about a month, so I forget the layout. So, I'm gonna struggle for a few seconds here. Oh, it's just here. It's just here. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for... find that um where is it I've definitely seen it on this map it, as Trevor I just can't see it as frankly is that See if I can quickly find it, and if not, I'll end up ending the stream in a minute. Because it is, yeah, 3 o'clock in the morning here. Just want to see if I can do that quick last, what I think is the, um, whatever his name was, with the, the smoking. I saw the marker for it when I was 
Trevor. Well, I can't see it now when I'm actually Franklin. I saw it as I am sure I saw it as Trevor. But now I'm not a hundred percent sure. <sighs> you know what guy? <sighs> but just said this yeah, try again. I might just end the stream anyway because like I said it's three o'clock in the morning here. I'm feeling a bit tired, so now guys, I hope we'll see you later. Bye for now.